so now we'll take up with the next topic that is production of water supplies and we are trying to control the algae in these water supplies either it can be pond lake or reservoirs or ocean so now i have explained a lot about algae earlier so what is this algae it is a green color plant which grows in the water now this algae why this algae grows and when the algae starts increasing in the water surface that is called as algae bloom andre sikkapudi dodde area cover madidati now what are the different reasons for the growth of this algae first one is stagnant water because if the water keeps on stagnating which is mostly in reservoir lakes ponds and all that is one of the reason for the growth of algae for running water usually there is no growth of algae then if the temperature is very high okay that in warm weather or in summer the growth of algae is more ready to next because of presence of excessive nutrients excessive nutrients andre ena now the chemical industries wastes are released in the water sugar industries domestic waste fertilizer industries so all the wastes are released in the water source straight away as well as water warm water is also released so all these are the different reasons for the growth of the algae and the excessive nutrients most of the chemicals which are present in all these wastes are nitrogen and phosphorus you know that even this is present in lot of chemicals as well as in fertilizers and this phosphorus mostly helps for the growth of the algae so algae gain aibidathi idella available iddu kudle it creates a very good environment for the growth of the algae warm water irudathi then uh, stagnate irudathi adike enu disturbance irudilla and food is available so tintate belitate aramage na suti idag en madtiva tv mund kodtivu aramage remote nodu alle tinnudu alle malkodu and you will put on your weight during your vacations so same hinga akaiti okay fine let the algae grow what de, what is its effect adu belite now hang belite let them grow independently but no this growth of algae is very dangerous for everyone actually first of all how it is dangerous for aquatic life yakana neerin hoy belide idu so the reason is what happens here when the algae starts growing it mostly floats on the surface so when it floats on the surface whatever like sun rays are should fall in the water that doesn't fall and hence that creates unnatural environment for the other aquatic plants to grow phytoplankton sunlight sigudilla photosynthesis agudilla so because of which the oxygen gets reduced and one more what happens is as this algae starts growing it obviously consumes oxygen for the growth and hence the dissolved oxygen level will come less than 4 ppm so adarkinta kammi bandu kulle as i told you minimum dissolved oxygen should be 4 ppm in water for the life or for the betterment of the aquatic life or else the all the aquatic animals will die so id beliyutindra oxygen level kammi akaiti all the aquatic animals will die like fishes and all other small animals start dying and they starts floating on the water surface nodare beg nimu aale ku ile ku pollution aagi ella fish ko satavu and if you go there if it is a growth of algae it will become like marshy water completely smelly kind of continuous decomposition akati so all these are the ill effects if algae blooms okay so this is affecting the environment now how it is affecting us so if we consume water which is having algae in that then that causes cancer and other major diseases for us so that is the reason we have to avoid algae as much as possible so now what to avoid madbekandre obviously whatever the environment is being given for the algae that should be disturbed automatically so if you the weight increase akirathi neevu en antire you will go for either for a gym or running or else you will cut your diet so neevu en pizza pasta tindirthira adnella kammi maartire then your weight will reduce automatically so here also there are certain methods how we can control this growth of algae blooms so now what you have to understand is these algae blooms are dangerous first adan telkobek nimu amel which are the different methods so there are four different actually many methods are there but these are the methods which are mostly used first one is ultrasound method second one is chemical control method third one is aeration method fourth one is mixing method so what we do in ultrasound so as we have studied in physics so ultrasound is a sound waves whose frequency is more than that of 
human ear capacity that is it is greater than 22 kilohertz okay now in ear procedure akaiti alike when ultrasound waves are allowed to enter in the water so during day time algae will be on the top surface of the water and ultrasound rays top surface okay the so our time the ga what algae will do assume that there is no any ultrasound waves now and algae will be in the top surface of the water and in the presence of sunlight as well as oxygen so it uh, as well as in the presence of carbon dioxide it carries out photosynthesis process and releases the oxygen so it is a natural process akirati amale nakati in the night time what this algae will do is in its vacuole air will be there so that air is released from its vacuole because of which algae weight increase age it will sink to the bottom of the seabed so all the seabed bottom hold kulle it uses oxygen and nutrients present here to produce the biomass that is decomposition or the waste it starts producing so this is the natural cycle which keeps happening in the water body when algae is present again day time da again akati algae mat float ag mel hokati amel all this process is done it will come so idr dintra there is favorable condition for the growth of algae now using this ultrasound what they will do is they will disturb this process completely so what this process will do this ultrasound waves are allowed to hit on the surface of the water so during day time so our time da again akati adan hit aad kulle all the algae it will start sinking to the bottom because of the effect of the buoyancy if float aagbekandre it is because of buoyancy you know that so adar the weight increase madadutti or it affects the property buoyancy property of the algae because of which in the day time algae will sink to the bottom so all algae bottom da sink aad kulle photosynthesis agudilla algae growth agudilla so that is how the growth of the algae is disturbed and this is how the ultrasound method helps for reducing the growth of the algae and this ultrasound method is environmental friendly so environmental friendly andra na it doesn't affect any other aquatic life yakana we ena chulo madbekandra it might affect the other animals also but this method doesn't affect any other plants or any other aquatic animals there so that's why we call it as environmental friendly but what happens here in ultrasound one disadvantage of this is okay so even the area at the samudra the surface or lake surface so required intensity of ultrasound rays has to pass amele na all this procedure will happen bare one 2 seconds bitu matte alli hogi alli hogi hing madkotu hodra that process will not happen so that is the reason catering large area is very difficult here or for the effective procedure of this the intensity of that and the time should of that should be enough so that this process should be disturbed it is so simple it is and along with this idea ultrasound maartirtevala namu adar jothe we have to maintain real time water quality monitoring also what is the meaning of this real time water quality monitoring so water quality parameters kaltare nemo like ph temperature turbidity all the chloride content all the whatever the properties are there automatically those values should be known to you dissolved oxygen and all so based on those values you will try altering the intensity and duration of this ultrasound waves so as to effectively reduce the growth of the algae telitu idu one bahal important ait exam point of view procedure hang akaiti annodu nenipidgore okay so this is the method of ready or controlling the algae next one is by using certain chemicals obviously so ne vegan martere when you are mopping your house you put phenol lysol something like that those are having certain chemicals and when you mop your house with that they will die automatically bacteria will die so here also for controlling of algae there are different methods of types of algae actually cyanobacteria phytobacteria then bere bere algae adavu cyano algae and all so there different chemicals are used for different types of the algae so they can use either alum lanthanum so when you use this what exactly happens is these chemicals precipitates orthophosphates so nine and any phosphorus dintrana or it is one of the important nutrient for the growth of the algae so precipitate andrena adru walagintra 
all the phosphorus will be removed so when all the phosphorus is removed by adding certain chemicals then algae will not be having the nutrients so the growth of the algae will start reducing and along with these certain copper based compounds are also added like copper sulfate copper kaolate commons all these other chemicals are also added but what happens all the chemicals are little expensive first of all ekandra you bare one packet water treat madakatilla bare 100 liter madakatilla you are using this method for millions and millions liters of water actually so this method is very costly and what happens one disadvantage of this is when you use this chemical okay other algae the skin en iratla it will rupture so other rupture ad kulle adar olagi nen toxin is iratla that will be released out and when it is released out obviously that will affect other aquatic animals also so algae is very dangerous telito so idan use madudhi antara its cell gets ruptured and whatever the toxin is present in the algae that will be released out and that affects other aquatic animals so this is one of the disadvantage but it is the effective method of reducing the growth of algae third method is aeration so aeration andre ena in water treatment you have studied allowing lot of air or oxygen in the water so that process is called as aeration so in aeration how it actually impacts it increases the decaying process because what happens when certain chemicals or whatever the organic matter waste matter enters into the body so if that gets decayed quickly then again nutrients will be less for the algae growth so we have to try uh, reducing that as much as possible so when the decaying process increases so less fo less food is available for the growth of algae so what does this mean now by doing aeration process it doesn't kill algae straight away ill madudindrunu kill martivu ill madudindrunu kill martivu but here it doesn't kill the algae straight away and this process is very costly in water treatment also you have studied aeration method so bottom ni indra oxygen hakti navu and it is 100% efficient but it is very costly ekandra all the equipments and getting this much of pure air and that too you are supplying this for the natural source of water you are not doing in some water treatment plant or something like that okay so next is by mixing method so you have studied the different stratification layer in the pond like this okay so epilemium hypolemium all those different layers so ille now kaltivi stagnant water ath kaltivi so e lakes olaga during summer and winter the layer gets disturbed you have seen that male in layer kala barade telagin layer male barate i have already explained so i won't be explaining this so e process madodintra whatever the nutrients are present here so a a water movement dintra a nutrients move akaiti so because of which what happens less food is available for the growth of the algae so doing this mixing artificially is known as mixing process but nan eno explain madidni on the board by drawing just two lines but practically it is not possible or it is very difficult and it is very costly sikka padi huge setup beku water purti disturb maadi to circulate it and it also affects little bit other aquatic animals also so this is not practically possible so mostly used method for controlling algae is ultrasonic method as well as chemical control so this is what you have to remember so that's all a very small and interesting topic protection of water supplies that is how to control the algae